Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on uh, gridding out an image. In multimedia class, we're going to be uh, doing these Hockney-inspired photo montages. And so he has taken out, uh, taken some photos and broken them up into smaller bits. Uh, sometimes it's one photo, sometimes it's multiple different photos, maybe the same person from different angles. Um, and what I'm going to show you is the technical process for doing that really easily. And uh, the process involves creating an action. So it's like a little sub-program that uh, you design yourself to allow Photoshop to uh, to do something for you. So here we go. Uh, you can get this image. It's called Cottage High Res. It's sitting on my website. You can download that and use the same one, or you can use your own. No matter what image you're going to use, you want to check out the image size first. So this image size is around uh, 3,500 by 2,500 or 2,600. So we have to think about how many squares we want to break this into. Um, if I use a 500 by 500. Uh, square, I'll have approximately 7 by 5, and that's, that's probably going to be good, at least for this demonstration. Uh, I'd probably do 300 by 300 if I was going to be doing this for, uh, for my own work, but 5 by 5 will serve us today. So we're going to go to File New, and you need to make a 500 by 500 image, white background, don't bother titling it, there it is. Uh, select everything, so Control A or Command A to, to select all. And we're going to stroke, edit, stroke, one pixel black on the inside. And OK, perfect. Uh, deselect, Control D, or select, deselect. And um, edit, define pattern. We can call this one 500 by 500. There it is. Close this one up. Don't bother saving. Okay, so here's our, our image. Uh, make a new layer above the background, and we're going to fill it with the pattern. So edit, fill, pattern, and you can choose. This is the new one that we just made. Okay, voila, there it is. Now, we have um, black on white. We have to do Control-I. Uh, that'll invert the image. Perfect. And change your blending mode for this particular layer to screen. That way you can still see through it. Okay, step number one, uh, go and grab your magic wand tool from the left hand side and you can see that you can now go through and just select these boxes really easily. So we've created a nice grid. Now, we've got a little bit of rough stuff at the, on the bottom here, so what I want to do uh, is crop this out. Okay, so um, in this particular case I'm going to crop it out just so it's a little bit neater. So I'm going to crop right down to that line. Very good. Hit enter. Great. Cropped it out. Um, okay, let's start the action. The first step, you have to select the top left. Uh, you will have to select um, every step of the action. The computer can't select for you. It can't be part of the action because it doesn't know what to select. So once you've made a selection and you're on layer one, we're going to start making the action. Uh, go over to your actions. You can go to window actions. Okay. Uh, or you can go over to the toolbar on the side and create a new action. We're going to call this one Grid. Okay, and as soon as I hit Record, it's going to start recording what I'm doing. So I'm going to hit Record. Uh, select the background. We're going to hold down Control or Command J for Layer via Copy. That's like a copy-paste. Okay. Um, then we're going to transform it. We want to make it a little bigger. So Control T to transform. And I'm going to hold down the Shift key to constrain my aspect ratio. I'm going to go up to about 120%. Okay, it's really up to you. Um, hit enter. Okay, and then go back to my grid layer and stop the recording. Okay, so that's it. So you can see now under grid for action, it goes through the steps that you're going to do. Now, if you wanted to maybe change the opacity, you would do it at this point before you selected the top layer again and stopped it. If you wanted to add a blending adjustment, if you wanted to add a filter, if you wanted to do any of those things, uh, you do them all in, inside the body of the action. So what this has done for us now is we could now run the action. So at the end, it's selected up here. So I could click the next one and run my action. There it goes. Select the next one, run my action. Okay, now I'm just going to go through these and it's a little bit monotonous. I think I might speed this up. Okay, so I have skipped some of the monotonous parts here just so I can uh, fast forward you through until the end. There's only a couple other little things, but 
Here we go, we have now gridded out this image. We've made 35 different separate layers uh, that can now be individually manipulated. Each of them is a little bit larger because in the, in the action we made a transform. Now, the only things that I do normally at this point is, number one, we can get rid of the grid. So just drag your grid into the garbage. Uh, you can also get, get rid of your background, drag it into the garbage. Um, I'm going to make the canvas a little larger so I can spread some of these out so I have a little bit of room to work. Image, canvas size. In this case, I might go to something like uh, 5,000 pixels. Uh, whoops, by 3,000 pixels. Okay, makes it a little bit uh, makes it a little bit larger, so I can now spread these out. And then go to your move tool, your selection tool, and make sure that this little check mark is turned on for auto select. This allows you to grab one layer at a time and move them out. Okay. Well, that's it. Uh, that's how you grid out your action. Hopefully, your Hockney-inspired photo montages are going to be awesome. See ya.